Oh! 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 What it is, guys? It's your boy Blast from Sage D, and today we are back to scare the living s out of me again, unfortunately, with some nukes. Top five scary ish. <laughs> Let's do this. Top five ghosts caught on camera. The Eternal Playhouse. Popular paranormal investigator Alberto Del Arco joins psychic medium Luisa Cardenas as they explore a country home in Mexico that is said to be extremely haunted. Even though the house is vacant, locals report seeing strange shadows in the windows. Visitors and guests at the home claim to have seen the spirit of a young girl wandering the property. A girl who tragically drowned in the home swimming pool. Damn. So the team enters the house and almost immediately they experience something chilling. Okay, so we must. Mira. ¿Qué fue eso, Lisa? No sé, creo que lo vimos todos, lo tienen todos en su. Estaba allá, güey, salió de allá. Así fue la niña, está, está como jugando. Salió de aquí, güey. Aquí estaba, ay, güey. ¿Oíste? Sí. Come here. Yo entendí cómo ven aquí. Y hay como un, un balbuceo de, de una niña, un niño, alguien pequeño, pero es, esa bici estaba aquí, salió de aquí, claramente la vimos todos, como, como se movió. Se movió. A small child's bike moves on its own, shocking the paranormal investigators. Then a creepy quiet voice can be heard saying in Spanish, come here. Now already a little creeped out, Alberto and Luisa continue their investigation and head outside to the pool where the young girl is said to have drowned. No. Nope. La siento aquí, Alberto. Estoy oyendo ruidos por allá. Oigo como risas. Ajá, yo también como una especie de risa. I heard that. Huele feo, ¿no? Sí. Ay, 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 Vi correr algo. Ay, 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 ay. Vi correr algo. ¿La tienes? No la tengo, pero sí. ¿No la tendrás, Tony? ¿Crees que en tu cámara la tengan? Vi algo rápido, rápido, corrió como para allá. A ver, vamos para allá. Alberto y Luisa hear the sound of a child giggling. And then Alberto sees a white figure running in the darkness near the pool. Now Alberto seems to be coming more and more unsettled with each creepy encounter. And when the group continues exploring the property, it becomes clear just how on edge oh the God. paranormal investigator really oh, is. Oh no! I see that shit, bro. I didn't see it before, but when they brightened it up, I see it now. It's como si ya se empezaron a alborotar. Hoy. No. No. Está llorando. Run, bitch. Oh, ¿Qué fue eso, güey? Una hoja. Sí, yo vi algo negro. Vi como algo negro que pasó aquí al lado. You just call us negros. <laughs> yo vi que algo iba cayendo hacia ti, pero no. Se creí que era una hoja. Ah. Atrás. atrás, 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 atrás. Otra vez fue la caballeriza, creo. Ay, qué susto me llevé. Yo lo escuché algo allá. Ah, esto sí. La escalera. la escalera, sí. Estaba bien puesta la escalera. The team hears the unsettling sound of a child crying, and Alberto's anxiety seems to reach its limit as a leaf simply falls near his head and gives him quite a scare. Then a ladder just seems to fall over on its own. The group heads further into the backyard of the creepy country home. What happens next is truly chilling. Mira, eso debió de haber sido como... Como un riachuelito que hicieron, sí. ¿verdad? Atrás. Pareciera acá, como alguien dentro, ¿verdad? Sí. Escucha algo allá adentro. ¿Está? Ay, güey. A ver, ve, 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 ve. 
Sí, vi algo. Pa pareciera vi algo, que vi algo, alguien vi algo. se asomó. ¡No! ¡Ay, güey! A ver, ve, 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 ve. ¡Nigga! A ver, corre, 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 corre. Para allá, para allá. Aquí, güey. Aquí se asomó, ¿no? Se me hizo ver, sí. te lo juro que se me hizo ver una niña que se asomó. Hasta le alcanza a ver como cabello. Podría, podría ser su lugar favorito, porque mira, hay juguetes como para una niña pequeña. Hay un espejo, un tocadorcito, hay como una, una carriolita chiquita. Podría ser uno de sus lugares favoritos, pero se vio clara, se vio clarísima. Sí, pudo, pudo seguir jugando. Como ella no es consciente de que falleció, pues para ella todo es juego. Cuando dijiste todo es juego... What looks to be the small head of a child can be seen inside the children's playhouse and quickly moving away from the window. The team rushes over to investigate, but they find no one and nothing to explain what they just captured. So, did paranormal investigator Alberto capture the playful spirit of the little girl who lost her life at the home? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Alberto Del Arco, Weird World. A segment where this next video is part of what might be the weirdest ongoing video series currently on YouTube. A man named Erwin Saunders claims that for the last 25 years he's been searching for rare mystical beings like fairies and pixies in the forests of the United Kingdom. Even weirder, he says he's found them. In a video uploaded on September 30th, 2017, Erwin Saunders finally catches on camera what he describes as a quote. Mm. Okay. Uh, he's not there. Oh, sorry about that. He was he was doing you a... Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's <laughs> there. Ah, well. At least we've got a shot of, of one. After a lot of patience and waiting, Erwin finally captures what he claims is a fairy creature oh, up on a ledge in the middle of the woods. Now to add to the mystery of this strange channel, Erwin Saunders completely disappeared from his channel back in 2019. Then, after a two-year absence, Saunders just suddenly started posting on his channel again earlier this year. Now, some people believe Erwin's videos are real, and some believe they are fake. And then there are some who just don't care either way, because they say that they thoroughly enjoy Erwin's whimsical fairy hunts. His YouTube comment section is full of loyal viewers that appreciate the magical journey that Erwin takes them on in his oddly soothing and relaxing videos. Certainly not saying that fairies and pixies are real, but check out even more of his strange videos and decide for yourself over on the YouTube channel, Erwin Saunders. This next weird video is another very mysterious one. I have no idea what the source is or where the video was recorded, but I've been told that it was filmed during a curfew because of the current world health crisis. Did you see it? Whoever is recording is completely unaware of a lone scooter driving by. Oh, shit. A scooter completely without a driver. It appears to be cruising along. A scooter has somewhere to be at, you know what I'm saying? A scooter got like a job application or an interview to go to. A scooter ain't no lame. A scooter ain't out here doing not Nathan, you know what I mean? A scooter ain't out here sleep on the job. No, he out there getting to the bag, you know, busted ass. Working hard, you know, taking the initiative. That's what's up. Long entirely on its own. So just where is the driver? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. That is a question. The lonely spirit of the school. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiaolong is back with another adventure to an abandoned elementary school in Liaoyang City, China. The old school has a very tragic past and locals avoid the school at all costs. It is said that long ago, a young female student at the very strict school accidentally dropped her teacher's water cup. For this simple mistake, the cruel teacher severely and cruelly punished the girl, leaving her physically injured and humiliated. 
Gotta kill her. Gotta finish her off. A young girl fell into a deep depression and using pesticides she found in her home, she took her own life. After the horrible incident, other Which goes to show that the teacher's uh, punishment was justified. He had to beat the life out of her, you know? Children at the school began to claim to see the apparition of a young girl aimlessly wandering the school hallways. As word of this frightening supernatural activity started to spread amongst the superstitious local parents, they began to take their children out of the school immediately. In the end, the elementary school was left completely abandoned and avoided by locals who believed the property to be the home of the little girl's angry, vengeful spirit. Xiao Long is joined by his friends Xiao Shen and Lao Dai on another live broadcast as they head out to investigate the creepy claims surrounding the abandoned school. I thought his eyes was going to pop open, bruh. That's why I started scooting that way, bro. If his eyes pop open, I am done. It's over. I'm out of my own house. Xiao Long and his friends discover a creepy medical mannequin sitting in what they believe used to be a science classroom. They joke around and kick the mannequin before leaving to explore the rest of the abandoned building. What the Maya? Now, I should mention here that when one of Xiaolong's friends begins to talk about a place called quote, mushroom head, I was completely confused and I thought my Chinese translator had maybe just lost his mind. So I messaged Xiaolong about it and apparently it's a nickname the friends have given to a particular spirit that I featured on this channel before. And that is the spirit of Bai Shuating, a female ghost who is said to love playing the piano and who Xiaolong encountered in a past video. Xiaolong says that they call the spirit, quote, mushroom head as a joke because of her mushroom-like hairstyle. But let's get back to the creepy video. Did you see it? As Xiaolong is talking about summoning the quote mushroom head ghost, someone or something can be seen quickly peeking out from outside the window. The guys decide to set up a static camera to record the piano in hopes of summoning any kind of paranormal activity. While Xiaolong is away to get equipment, Xiao Xin and Lao Dai are left alone inside the creepy piano room. And things take a very mm, goofy turn. <laughs> Now, all jokes aside, Xiaolong returns and the three friends eventually leave the building to take a break in the car and talk to the livestream audience. 
They leave their static camera running as they leave. Now again, all of this was recorded and broadcast live. And what their live static camera catches is truly terror. A medical mannequin moves on its own. Then a light bulb suddenly falls from the ceiling. But most terrifying of all, the face of a child can be seen looking through the school window. Meanwhile, outside in the car, Shaolin and his friends are sent screenshots of the creepy activity that is captured on their live broadcast. They decide to gather their equipment and just get out of there. So did Shaolong, Shaoxin, and Lao Dai capture the ghost of the young child that is said to haunt the school? As always, I leave it to you to decide. You can watch many creepy highlights of Shaolong's live investigations over on his own YouTube channel, Outdoor Shaolong. The Cobb Mansion. Ghost hunters and friends Ryan, River, Nick, and Wyatt from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal travel to the allegedly haunted Cobb Mansion in Virginia City, Nevada. Cobb Mansion was built in 1876 after a devastating fire consumed most of the town of Virginia City. Over the next 145 years, the Grand Mansion was the home of several different families. Then in 2004, the historic Cobb Mansion was renovated into an old-fashioned bed and breakfast. But ever since the mansion has been open to visitors, many guests have reported strange, unexplained paranormal activity. Some visitors claim to have heard strange noises and the sound of music playing. Even creepier, there have been reports of ghostly apparitions being spotted in almost every single room of the mansion. Twin Paranormal is invited to Cobb Mansion by its current owner, Connie Carlson, to do an overnight investigation into the unexplained reports of alleged haunting. The team is on the second floor of the mansion when they begin to ask questions to whatever spiritual presence might be there. And things take a turn toward the bizarre. If there's anybody here, we'd like to know your story. Why you are still in the Cobb Mansion. Whoa. Is that out there? That was loud, yes? Is that in the bathroom or out there? Sounds like it was real close, like right here. What was it? You didn't hear, it was like, it sounded like as if you were to step on the wood. Yeah, like creaking. I yeah. tap, I might have, to be honest. It was, you know those like kind of creak steps ish okay. not full like creaky uh, up there's there's another floor yeah, the that could have been exactly where it was yeah. holy oh holy my gosh, gosh did you holy <laughs> you heard that too did you not where was that that sounded like someone just did a backflip i didn't there. hear any of that you did not that was anything. so loud that was i vaguely did i wasn't sure dude that like actually scared me that was so loud in what direction did you hear that? Upstairs? You guys want to go upstairs? I don't know. It, it was definitely... This place is so big, it's going to be hard to tell. But that, right when you started talking and reacting to the first one, I, it literally sounded like a 300-pound man just jumped as high as he could. Mm -hmm. The four guys hear the nearby sound of something creaking and then are startled by the much louder sound of a door on the first floor slamming shut. They have no idea where the sound is coming from, but their static camera captures it all. The team heads down to investigate the first floor. They decide to turn on a very old music box and they immediately seem to get some very direct responses on their spirit box app. Why don't you turn on the uh, music, box. music box? Oh, f that. That's going to creep me out. It says do it. No, f it. Yeah. it just just do oh it. my god. Are you kidding me? It just said two words, do it. Yeah, pull it up and then put it back down. Us. Us. It just said us. Fuck. Fuck anything to do with that music box. It just did that when I pulled it. I'll sit right the fuck here. Not in there. <laughs> Party. Party. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh That's what the oh. Party. Now, it's much later into the investigation, and the twin paranormal team again hears the music box. But this time, they are nowhere near it. Yeah. 
He said party. <laughs> the music box. I hear it. The That's music, the music box. box. The music box. Was that you that just played the music? Oh my god, that scared me. That was the music box? You think so? 100%. The paranormal investigators are all on the second floor when they can hear the music box playing completely on its own on the first floor. Now since the music box isn't electric, it has to be manually cranked. So they have no explanation as to how it could be playing without someone starting it. Damn. Next, Twin Paranormal heads up to the third and top floor of the Cobb Mansion. And what happens next is downright creepy. Wait, what is that? That's the TV. What the? Wait. Yo, the TV just turned on by itself. Where? Yo. Where? Where the... are you? Wait. No way. Wait. Wow. That's never happened to us. Is that the remote? Wait, where were you guys the whole time? We left. We went to the right there. Yeah, because we heard knocking again on the door. And then I heard. I heard that. I thought you played like a video or something. I thought I just... Did you turn the TV on? Can you turn it off? Wait, is that the remote? Can you try it? It has to be. There's nothing else, right? Yep, that's it. This never happened. Those are footsteps. Yeah, loud. Well. A TV in one of the rooms turns on by itself, and when they turn it off, they hear footsteps coming from somewhere inside the mansion. At that exact same moment downstairs, their static camera is capturing what appears to be a white, translucent figure. It seems to manifest out of thin air and walk slowly from one room to the next. So is Cobb Mansion truly haunted by a paranormal presence? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full two-part series at the Mysterious Cobb Mansion over on the YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal. Thanks so much for Really Haunted. Oh shit. Lee from the YouTube channel Really Haunted lives in a house in England that seems to be a hot spot of paranormal activity. Lee has become somewhat of a regular featured channel on my top fives as the activity in his home just seems to get more and more violent. Now if you want to see what I'm talking about, I highly recommend that you check out Lee's channel where he shares all the evidence that he's captured over the last two years. So in a shocking new video that Lee has uploaded, the paranormal entity that terrorizes his family is captured once again. Lee and his wife Stacy are fast asleep in bed and then this happens. What happens? This isn't what? Oh, that's not good. Oh, it materialized. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's taking his bitch. He got your hole, nigga. Why? What's up? Put my back. That's messed up. That's Lee's wife Stacy is fast asleep when a dark shadow-like figure slowly seems to move over to her bedside. Then without warning, Stacy is pulled violently out of bed, injuring her back. Lee says that the event has left them absolutely terrified. Stacy left the house that night to sleep in a caravan outside in their yard, too scared to go back inside the house. Looks like you're probably not gonna ever get blowjobs again until you fix your haunted situation. That's the worst. The couple says that they have no idea what to do about the violent paranormal activity and that they have tried everything they can think of to get rid of the dark entity that seems to inhabit their home. Be sure to follow Lee's encounters with the paranormal over on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. Utterly terrifying as usual. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Twisms.